All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick recap on what we got out of that Goodwill. So this is some pretty good finds in here. I mean, just three things, but let me show you. We got some knots in there, but big shoe haul here. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably the best thing out of everything I got. This is a full set of Mizuno MP14s. Really good set. And um, yeah, I haven't had one since, you know, the 90s. So I'm really happy to have it. We got Mario Tennis, Donkey Kong 64, and if y'all didn't see 007 in there. And does it work? Well, let's just find out. Terrible. Come on, grab you. Getting those. Watch them bad boys out. Kids Jordan for you. What's this? Hey, what's in there? Three nine nine. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick recap on what we got out of that Goodwill. So this is some pretty good finds in here. I mean, just three things, but let me show you. We got some Nike Air Harachis. I'm not sure of the sub name because they always have another name for them. But yeah, the, the Nike Air Harachis, I did comp these out. Most of them are going anywhere from like 50, 60, all the way up to $150. Those so comp on the screen for you, but they're in decent shape. I don't see no big issues. So they'll clean up pretty decently and hopefully sell them pretty decent. Then we got a pair of Nike Air Jordan Retro Kid Shoes. These are Retro Fives, I believe. They're in pretty decent shape. I paid $2.99 for these, and of course I paid $6.99 for the Harachis over there. But these right here were comp, and they just sold for like $35, $40. So I'll throw the sold comp in the screen for you. And then right here we got, a, this is what you call a Coast cassette player. I'm sorry. And here what you got is this is a Coast like set holder and i was looking these up not too long ago i was discovering that these things do worth money i mean this actual just the case without the blank media is worth like 15 20 bucks and you see i paid 3.99 and we got some blank media in here some maxwell video cassettes so i'm sure if i lot this together i probably can get like 20 maybe 30 bucks for this i think so not too bad in there i only spent i think 13 bucks all total all right, guys, I'm going to do a voiceover in here. There's a lot of music playing, so kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So we are in the Goodwill bins here, and I do like to visit this place a lot. Um, here you see I did pick up a pair of Keens here. They usually sell pretty decently. Um, pretty much just picking through the leftovers. A lot of times I do find a lot of things that are left over, and that's, there's some pair of Vans there that are no good. If they were clean checkerboard Vans, slip-ons, usually do pretty good. I might have put them in there, but I'll put them back later. Anyway, moving on, we did find a pair of SAS shoes here. SAS is a pretty good, decent name to pick up. I ended up, I ended up do buying those. And then we got a pair of Sperry loafers here. I did buy those as well. So anytime I find loafers, you're only paying like a dollar fifty in here per shoe, or maybe two, because they're weighing about a pound. If y'all can see here, we are waiting on new bins to be put out. That's actually a new bin right in front of me, and there's some decent shoes in there. However, I mean, it's kind of scattered, and you can see here in a second, once they say go, I mean, it's pretty much get what you can and put it in there because everybody's coming for everything. And so I did try to put as much as I could in my cart. But the guy next to me, he was taking all the shoes and just putting them in his cart, not just hand-picking them. He was just taking the whole trough and dumping it in his cart, making it just... Work, worthless for me to even continue so i did stop and just move on because he had done through every shoot he could in his car so that was it on that all right guys i moved over to some leftovers i did pick up this wilson tennis racket it's a jack kramer anytime you see jack kramer on a tennis racket i would pick it up i actually have already sold that racket i'll go over the sold price on it later and just kind of digging through this toy box here to see if there's any kind of gem in here and I don't think I found anything, just some old junk toys. If y'all see anything, leave it in the comments below. 
All right, guys, on my last pick here, I did find a pair of low, a low top pair of Converse here, and I always pick these up if I can find them. Like I said, they're really cheap, like $1.50 to $2. So um, I do go over all this stuff here in a little bit and let you know everything I found with Solcoms. All right, guys, not too bad in there. I mean, I got a tote full of shoes here and a tennis racket. I hope the tennis racket's in there. Yes. Yeah, but I ended up spending $26 on all this. I mean, there's probably like at least eight pairs of shoes in here. I know I paid a dollar for the racket. I think the shoes are weighed about a pound, so they're probably, you know, at least a pound and a half. Probably weighing out. I think it's a dollar sixty-seven a pound. So not too bad in there. I'm not hating that. Got a lot of good stuff. I'll go over with you. All right, guys. So I'm home now, and I got everything on the table. Like I couldn't really go over that. All these shoes in the parking lot, and most of what I got out of the bins is shoes, and that's normally what I find are some clothing. And sometimes you see I do find camera bags and whatnots in there. But big shoe haul here. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pair of shoes, a garment, and a tennis rag and a belt, which the belt's for me. And I got all that for $26 and some change, so not too bad. The other stuff I found, the other goodwill that I already went over. But real quick, some of the stuff is like really good brands to pick up. So I mean, of course, we got a pair of Nike Kids shoes. I looked these up. One pair did sell for 15 bucks. I don't think these will go for that. They do have some wear, but I'll clean them up and try to get at least 10 bucks for them. Then we got some Tiva, yeah, Tiva flip-flop sandals here. These are, I think, called like the Hurricane model, or the Hurricane is the sub-model <laughs> name of the shoe. And um, these right here sell pretty good. They're in not bad shape, so I think I can get at least 10, 15 bucks out of these. So not too bad. They're kid sandals. Then we got some Keen, like flip-flop, like waterproof. I mean, these things right here, I, I sell them. I just sold a pair for like 10, 15 bucks. They're easy to ship. You probably go free shipping on there and do USPS first class or throw them in a flat rate padded envelope. But Keen's a good brand to pick up and not too bad. They're probably like 50 cent in the whole entire because they're so light in that in that haul. <clears throat> Next up, we got some Socket and Cohesion 13s. I should be able to clean these up. Hopefully, get something for them. I did look up Soul Calm. So they look anywhere from like 19 all the way up to around 30. So not too bad. Socket is a good name of shoes to pick up. Then we got some Asics volleyball shoes. I didn't find anything pre-owned on these, but they do sell brand new for around $40, 50 Like I say, get 10, 15 bucks out of that just to kind of pad the wallet for the amount of, you know, only spending $26. And then we got a pair of Sperry's here. These Sperry's look pretty worn out and nasty, but I looked at the Soul Comps and you can look up Soul Comps on these in the tongue. Just type in their number. And these actually were comping pretty good. I mean, these look, like I said, a little worn out, but I think you get 15, 20. Here's the Soul Comp of what the last ones went for. So not too bad. Also got another pair of Sperry's. And I think I found a similar sole comp going for like 15 bucks. So not too bad on that. I also got these SAS flip flops here. I was looking SAS flops up. I mean, they look like they were selling really well. So um, based on the condition, I'm going to try my best to get maybe 15 bucks out of these. We'll see. Um, hopefully I'll get it. But I mean, not too bad there. SAS is another good net brand to pick up. <clears throat> also got these Clark flip flops here too. I looked them up by the number and I believe, I mean, they were selling pretty decent pretty decently i got i think like 15 20 bucks but i'll throw the socom screen for these as well hopefully i can still find it but yeah these weren't too bad and then we got two pair of converse chuck taylors and these right here i have no problem getting 10 15 bucks for us so i think that's the name of the game here oh yeah we also got the ralph lauren polo here i might, might just keep that for myself i'm gonna wash it clean it up but i like these polos here they're nice if i can find a socom for that i'll throw it in the screen paying hardly nothing for it <clears throat> and then last but not least we got the vintage wilson jack kramer tennis racket and i just sold one of these for like 10 bucks this one's got like a green pattern to it not in bad shape so if i can get 10 15 dollars for that as well i'll take it so like you see not too bad there in the bins most items i don't really get a ton of money for but spending 26 dollars on 11 pairs of shoes and a tennis racket here and you know something there and the average sale price being around 12 to 18 dollars I mean, you can really rack up some profits once, you know, you start getting into the profit zone. All right, guys. So my GoPro did die, but I want to share a few of these shoe pickups with y'all. I did pick up these right here. These are Kevin Durant's here from 2016. A pair of Paul George shoes are called the Ivory Pearl, I believe. And then here we have an anniversary Aqua Nike Air Maxes here. That was a home run find. A pair of Merrells. These are like a mocha brown slip-ons. Not too bad to pick up there. We got a pair of pink Crocs. That sell pretty decently. I already sold those. And then we got a pair of Nike Pegasus 37. Yeah, the Nike Pegasus 37s and a pair of Jordans here. I forgot the name of this. I am throwing the soul comps in the screen here. Some of the stuff. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. I do appreciate everybody sticking around. 
Here at the end of the video, I'm gonna show y'all a pick that I got over the weekend. I spent $420 on all of this. This is like a private pick that I got to have at one of my kind of a friend or guy I've gotten some stuff from in the past. So I'll show you the stuff I got. It's pretty good stuff. So we got I had I have gotten golf clubs and a lot of video game stuff and then some Bose things, but ended up getting this right here. This is a full set. That's probably the best thing out of everything I got. This is a full set of Mizuno MP14s. Really good set of clubs. These right here, I mean, I probably could have got more. I've already sold them for $200 plus shipping. They do have a little bit of ball wear on the faces. But those are a big bolo in golf. I mean, if you ever find those, I believe, I think these might've been the ones Tiger used back in the day, but really good set of clubs there. I got another set of Callaway X12s. And they actually have some issues going on with them. I did sell these already for $60 plus shipping. It was like $59 plus ship. So not too bad there. And then I got a couple other odds and ends golf clubs. This ain't even the full bag. I've, I've been listing. It was a bunch of Callaway stuff. Callaway, Big Bertha, Sand Wedge. Always the wedges to the set sell good. Got a center shaft putter. I'm not even sure about what this one is. It's called a Bob Man. I'll throw a soul comp on the screen if I can find one. Um, we got a Mac. It's called a Mac driver. I have seen these before. It's the Power Sphere. It's pretty cool, but I don't think it goes for no more than 15, 20 bucks. But some decent golf club pickups in the bulk deal. And then here we got some gaming stuff. We got the original NES system here. I don't have any games. I do I do think I got everything to test it with. I do have a PS4 down here. I don't think the PS4 works. I think it's parts only. Even parts only, this thing still sells pretty good. I think it's like a hundred bucks. I haven't listed it yet. Then I got two Bose sound systems over here. Now these sound systems do not work, but I've already listed them. Parts only, I sold both of them for $45 with free shipping. Shipping's probably gonna cost anywhere from 10, 15 bucks, making a little bit of profit. But yeah, the Bose Wave sound system stuff, they don't work, they do sell pretty good. And in the bold deal, they were like five bucks a piece is what he was charging me. But when we rounded everything up, it came to the 420. Then we got some Bose little speakers here. Cube speakers sell pretty good. I'll throw so comps in the screen for you on these. These things are really decent to pick up if you ever find them. And they sell very fast. And there's like a bunch of speakers over there that he threw in the deal. Then we got an Xbox 360S. I'm trying to get a hundred bucks of free shipping with it. Because it did come, normally these only go for like eight, 80 bucks. But it has the Halo Reach controller in there. A Halo Reach controller goes for like 15, 20 bucks. So you're going to find that controller. You definitely want to pick it up if you can get it cheap enough to make some decent money and then we got two Wii systems or two Wii lots may I say because you can see there's a lot of games in here too and we got some popular titles we got a Mario Kart in there Super Mario Brothers twice I mean there's some Wii I think the uh, the, the Wii sports game I think there's two of them in there so those always go for like 20 bucks or more and the, of course the Wii is always about 50 bucks time you sell those we got some 360 games so not too bad and then hey i got this too this was really cool this is a original playstation one sealed in a case i mean this thing right here i looked up soul comps was going for like 80 90 bucks so really good score there get a lot of you know start to get into the profit once i sell some of the stuff off which some stuff has sold off already and then there is one more thing i'll show you that i got in this deal it's actually i'm gonna keep it let me show you and there it is guys a nintendo 64 Guys, this was like my ultimate like Christmas present gift when I was like 10 or 12 because I was alive in 1996 when these things came out. And um, yeah, I haven't had one since, you know, the 90s. So I'm really happy to have it. We got Mario Tennis, Donkey Kong 64. And if y'all didn't see 007 in there, and does it work? Well, let's just find out. It does work. It works, works great too. I mean, you don't have to blow it. Just turns right on. We got Mario Tennis in there. I've been playing it with my son. So... Really happy with it. I think I'm gonna keep it. I might sell Donkey Kong, keep Mario Tennis. May add it to my collection. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to share that with y'all real quick. It's a pretty decent score. I mean, some good bolo items in there and a lot of fun stuff. So guys, I got a lot of items to package up. I got 15 going out. It's Monday. I do appreciate everybody watching. The video is probably out on Wednesday. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you do like content like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's helping me out a lot. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See you.